Hi, it's Jeff Chalmers here from discoverdoublebass.com and in this video we are going to be asking many of the bassists from the 2023 International Society of Bassists Convention this question. What advice do you have for someone who's just starting to play the double bass? Welcome to the family, Yeah, I have to say, and, and uh, it's a beautiful journey uh, no matter if you end up being a professional or or have it just as as uh, an enriching hobby in your life. It's just a, it's just the greatest instrument. Period. I mean, I'd say to learn how to find the joy in playing scales and arpeggios, because like even to this day, it's something I practice. I believe technical mastery of the instrument is the pathway to doing whatever you want to do on it. So, you know, just to make that a part of your everyday you know, practice and in your life. You know, I took a lesson with Francois Raboth and you want to know what he told me? He said, just because we're playing an etude or scales and arpeggio, it doesn't mean it can't be musical. So I would encourage you to play around with the music, musical aspect of, of doing these technical exercises as well. Uh, finding a, a good teacher that's, that's really dedicated to teaching and, and someone that's just dedicated for teaching beginners because um, that's its own specialty I think and um, that can really really help um, you know get you off on the right foot and find your right path and um, I think be inspired you know uh, that's more important than anything I think more important than technique more important than practicing scales is being inspired to play and being inspired to pick up your instrument every day and, and make noise on it. I would definitely just say get out there and play like there are so many opportunities and there's so many people to play for everyone is always looking to hear new people and to hear new experiences and they absolutely love it whenever a new bassist um, jumps onto the scene so I would just say get out there and play try as many genres as you can try try again and fail I've failed a lot in my career but um, it's what really makes me who I am today so oh, I love that yeah if they've never played a bass before, yeah. well, find one that is playable and is in your size, depending upon what size you are. It's more common to have a variety of sizes now. I was lucky when I was a kid that they had a half size bass, but now there's a whole range. And then find someone that can help you to learn how to hold it ergonomically so you don't hurt yourself. That's my main advice for someone starting out well, and like study methods. Yes, you can be self-taught, absolutely, but man, you'll play a lot longer until you're old and gray like me if you do it ergonomically. Follow your curiosity I love that. with joy. Yeah? Because it's, there's, there's always something new to discover. I think it's an instrument that the entry level, even though it looks big and foreboding, it is the most amazing thing because you can play if you just relax your body into it, you can make the most beautiful sounds that you can use on that level. And the more fun you have, then the more fun you want to have. And you just keep developing that relationship with the instrument. So you just try to find the, get it to the point where there are no more secrets on the instrument. Well, I guess just, uh, just, just patience, I guess. This is also what I'm trying to tell myself. Just take it slowly, one thing at a time. So try to separate the different elements and uh, just work on it, uh, but work on it. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, don't limit yourself to any sort of genre or one thing. Feel free to explore all of it. Play electric bass too, along with upright bass. Look into electronics, know how to do social media stuff. And uh, But really, I think the biggest thing for me with um, the younger generations that I'm working with right now is just being responsible and like responding to emails and being uh, you know personable go talk to people um, I think that's I know that's a lot but that's my biggest advice but be your, be yourself and um, the door will open to what you need what the universe is, is, has in store for you uh, I'll get in trouble for saying this from somebody but don't be afraid to try anything I mean the whole point of playing music is to have fun and to try and get the sound in your head out of the instrument and if if you think in terms of thou shalt and thou shalt not, you're going to not discover a lot of things that you might have found if you just searched on the instrument and found your own path. Yeah, well, if they're here, this is overwhelmed, but just enjoy it. You don't even know what you're learning until you get out of here and digest it. Uh, just be patient with yourself. 
you know, it's just progress is slow. I think about that. I go to the gym and I just like just like uh, practicing the bass or anything else. It's a skill that just takes time to develop. And I'm like, I see gains over time, maybe not that day, um, but like you just sort of understand that learning is a process and, and be patient with yourself. It's really easy to get down on yourself, especially when you're picking up something new, especially if you might be an adult beginner or somebody who's like accustomed to like maybe being an expert at certain things uh, and then and then you're learning this new thing. Just enjoy the process. It's a, you are making gains and you don't think and just patience uh, I think is, is key. Yeah, I have a couple things that I usually tell like my younger players just right off the bat. Um, the big one is don't be afraid to make mistakes because that might be a happy accident. Yeah. It might be an opportunity. Uh, I like to say my studio failure is a data point, right? Oh, that didn't work. What did that teach you? Yeah. You know? um, and the other one is don't overcomplicate it. You know, the notes are in the right, the, the notes are in the same spot every time you pick up your instrument. Yeah. If your instrument's in tune, you don't have to overthink it. You know, the bow goes this way. Yeah. You know, the hand, the, le the left hand goes this way, yeah. sometimes this way, right? It's. If you if you try to overcomplicate it, it just the human brain just makes it just a big mess and just just make sounds and enjoy yeah. the sound of the instrument and you know you'll find something beautiful out of all that mess. My advice these days is very specific. It's like you have to find an individual idea like how to run your your career. Like you know you can't just say, "Oh, I'm a bass player." You, know, you have to have a a a either I don't want to say a gimmick. Find a niche that sort of reflects your personal, um, you know, love of music and something, you know, and, 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 and you don't have to devote yourself 100% to that, but, you know, find, find something that distinguishes you from everybody else. I just and music is so vast that you will be able to find that, yeah. you know. Well, I guess the first thing would be to get a bass that's not too, too challenging to play. Yeah. Because if you, if it's really hard to play, like you know your action's really high, you can't, you know you don't have the strength to, to press down the strings enough. Um, you don't have any calluses. You're you're just starting out. You're a babe, right? Yeah. In the woods, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, I would get a bass that's have someone advise you. Yeah. A bass. Get a teacher, and yeah. someone to, to set you up with a bass that's reasonably easy to play because you're just starting out. Yeah. And then you start with some basic things, you know, the open, teach them the open strings, get them to play some rhythms yeah. with the open strings. Yeah. Then start with the low F scale. Everybody starts with the F scale. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, take it from there. Um, well, Xavier uh, Foley, he didn't make it here. I, I, I admire this guy. He, he reminds me of Gary, he reminds me of Edgar, that they do things on the bass that we do not want to do. We can't teach them, but only they could do what they do because they are such monster musicians and they could do whatever they want, Yes. you know? But it may not apply to everybody, but it also speaks to what I believe in so much is that it's the individual that's doing the music making. And so what comes out of your hands and what comes out of your, your, your bass is really your voice, okay? And that's what we're interested in. So when Francois or Edgar or Victor or Xavier or any of these wonderkins come up and they express themselves and we feel them, that's what connects with me and that's what's so important. And with some of these younger players, they, they have it and others are striving for the wrong things. I mean, they're striving for a sense of perfection and technique and facility, uh, but they don't understand that music making is about human beings sharing something and that the audience wants to enjoy something or to feel something as part of that experience and remember it for the rest of their lives. And that is so important. So when I see that, that's what's, what, what, what connects with me and what I want to do and what I'm committed to do. And, and to see it with the people of all these ages is a real thrill. My advice is always um, that learning music and learning to do music are two different things. Okay, what do you mean and by that? Yeah, that to learn music is like to know how the music goes, to understand it, to hear it. 
And to do it, to execute it, is actually something different. And so there's always, we're, often the students are trying to do both at the same time, and it's like juggling too many balls because they're trying to learn how the piece goes while trying to figure out how to play it. I see, yeah. Make sense? And so my advice is always like to like get to know the music and then figure out how to do it, yeah. how to make it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, there, there's a place for you. Yeah. That's, that's the base. The, the beautiful thing is that it can be so, so much and, and it can be so simple and, and direct. One note, you know, one, one note at the right moment in the right way to... There's a place for you. It, don't... I, it maybe took me longer than I wish to believe in, in that fully. But um, each one of us is, is so unique. The role of the bass in so many different genres of music, it's so unique. It doesn't have to be all that, you know? Um, and the virtuoso thing, great. That can be really fun and very deep and rewarding also. Um, but I think you come out of, of this uh, experience and you can't help but think like, oh my gosh, it's so vast. And, and I can't do that and I can't do that and I can't do that. And so, but like, I like this and, that, and, and this feels good. And, and that seems to somehow, I don't know. I, 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 I'm sort of bumbling along with that answer, but there's a place for you. That's my answer. It's a beautiful answer. Well, I always say that uh, the important, most important thing about playing any instrument is to make that instrument your signature, and, and the signature is your sound. Nobody, no two people have the same sound, so that, like the human voice, yes. you know. No two people have the same sound. I can play on a plywood bass, any kind of bass, and everybody will know it's me, because it's my signature, you know, and I, and, I, and I can say the same for other people I've heard. They all have a different sound, which is really absolutely wonderful. So my advice would be, first, more important than a bass is a bow, because that's where, you, that's where the sound is drawn. And you have to have a perfect marriage with a wonderful bow that vibrates beautifully in your head and, and una enables you to draw the bow and make that sound that you want. That's my advice. Well, for everybody who is at the ISB, everybody who's going, go and check out these wonderful bow makers that are here. Yeah. And on behalf of all of the people watching at home, Gary, and the whole bass community, thank you so much for everything you've done. You're an absolute inspiration to all of us. And yeah, we love you, Gary Carr. Thank you. <laughs> I love you thank too. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I love you. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that. What did you think? What resonated with you? And what advice do you have for people who are new to our instrument? It's so important to build upon the wealth of talent that we already have and inspire the next generation. So join us in the comments, keep the conversation going, practice hard, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.